If you're looking for a point guard build that can shoot from anywhere on the floor, I mean a small guard build that literally has its head at the rim like Prime D Rose. A build that literally allows you to make the most unrealistic shots and has defenders at your mercy, you're in the right place. Before we get into the build, I need y'all to smash the like button, hit the sub button. Now, I really wanted to get you guys this video just because this is a new build I had and a few of you guys recognized it in the Pro-Am videos that it wasn't the same as, you know, the builds I've been using earlier in the year. But this is going to be a remodified version of the last two builds I've made. And I really do feel like this is the best point guard build in NBA 2K24. But I'm not going to waste y'all's time. Let's hop straight into these attributes. So first things first, your close shot gonna want to leave that at a 50 it's obviously not that important as a pg i'm not a center i'm not doing anything really that close to the basket so you don't really need close shot now for your driving layup your driving layup is going to be a 74 now the 74 driving layup is going to allow you to get giant slayer on goal now this has made a big difference for me it's allowing me to make a lot more and ones allowing me to make a lot more contested layups at the basket really overall just allowing me to be stronger when i go to the rim and you know at times when i'm getting taken out of dunk animations like i can still make the layup so that's one thing i really love about giant slayer in this build and on my last build i had a 73 driving layup so you could say this build is even like better in terms of making layups at giant slayer gold is key i'm not gonna lie now for driving dunk driving dunk is gonna be an 88 that's the same as the last build when i was making this build though I was thinking about putting a 90 driving dunk on it, but it kind of takes away from the, a lot of your other attribute points. So I decided to go 88 and 88 always been solid. As you guys can see in these clips, I'm still dunking on niggas. You know what I mean? Like I'm still getting to the cup, still getting on that rim with, you know, with ease. Now my standing dunk is going to be a 45. The 45 standing dunk allows you to get both the one hand under basket regular and then the two hand under basket regular. So you're able to get both of those dunk packages. And I mean, at 6'2", I'm still getting up there. I'm still Still, you know getting on that rim i mean i'm looking like most of the hashes out here who have like 70 standing dunk maybe not to the same level but it's pretty close though you know what i mean so i'm really liking the 45 standing dunk and then obviously i don't have any post control on this build not gonna need that now let's get into the shooting now the shooting is gonna be my absolutely favorite part about the build so for the mid-range it's gonna be an 80 now the 80 mid-range is the same as my last few builds 80 mid-range works just fine for me as you guys can see in these clips I'm able to knock down all these mid-range shots. It was a part of my game that I really have to expand because in comp pro-am, like your mid-range shot is, that's what really can take you to the next level. So, you know, if you can dunk and you can shoot the three ball with this build, and then on top of that, you can be consistent with your mid-ranges and that 80 mid-range allows you to do that. You could be very lethal on the court as you guys can see. Now for my favorite part about the build, you're gonna have a 94 three ball. Now the 94 three allows you to get agent threes on gold it allows you to have open looks on hall of fame it allows you to get guard up on hall of fame and not only that you are able to get whistle on gold and that makes a big difference for not only just getting fouled on jump shots but it allows you to you know to get fouled at the rim it's just like i'm shooting a lot more free throws with, with whistle on gold but back to the 94-3 the 94 three ball i mean as you guys can see you are able to hit some of the most craziest shots now obviously i have the patty mills jump shot so that you know that's obviously obviously gonna help but no matter what even if you use the curry base you're still gonna be able to make contested threes just because you have that guard up on hall of fame you're gonna be able to make contested mid-range shots it just helps with your shooting overall the 94 three open looks on hall of fame every like my three point percentage right now and like theater is probably like 80 percent from three like i'm shooting something crazy shooting probably like 55 from the three right now in pro-am like the shooting has been a lot more efficient rather than my last build that had the 92 three ball so i'm absolutely loving 94 that's my favorite part about this build right now because i'm shooting the lights out and last but not least for the shooting it's going to be your free throw the free throw is going to be a 99 free throw i had it on my last build absolutely love 99 i'm not really missing too many free throws here and there you know you'll occasionally miss a free throw but that's just the 2k cheese it is what it is but for the most part you're knocking down your free throws when you get to the line now let's dive into the playmaking so for the playmaking on this build the pass accuracy is going to be an 89 now the 89 pass sack is going to allow you to get bailout on bronze not only bailout on bronze but you're able to get dimer on gold now for me obviously i'm playing 5v5 so that dimer gold is very important to me I, you know i need my teammates to be hitting their shots in the corners you know on the hash whatever it is my center because he's a popper 
So, you know, I got to have my teammates hitting their shots. If you don't want to go 89, you could go 87 and you could still get the bailout bronze. Now for my ball handle, my ball handle is going to be a 93. That allows you to get the killer combos on gold. And then my speed with ball. This is another big difference on this build. The speed with ball is going to be a 90. Now, before my build had an 85 speed with ball in the last two builds I had. And I'm not going to lie to y'all, like I wasn't moving the fastest. It was cool but I still wasn't moving as fast as I am now. Now I'm really getting downhill. I'm really getting to the basket as you guys can see in these clips. Like my player feels so much faster and also I'm able to get the Kyrie dribble style as well. And that's the best dribble style in the game. So definitely wanna go with that 90 speed with ball. That's gonna wrap it up for the playmaking. Now let's get into the defense. Now, as you guys know, this year, the builder is very limited in 24. And so, you know, already being a 6'2 guard, there's not gonna be a crazy amount of stuff you can really put on your build defensively so the interior defense is going to be a 45 which is actually higher than my last build and that's going to allow you to wall up on players in the paint you're still going to be able to get stops in the paint at times of course you know you're still 6'2 so there's going to be times where you get dunked on but for the most part this is an offensive build anyways defense is kind of what you're gonna have to lack at the end of the day and if you have teammates around you that you know are playing defense especially in like pro-am you're gonna be straight you can be hidden to the defense and you can hold your own at times as well and then the perimeter defense is gonna be a 58 the 58 perimeter defense allows you to get off ball pest on bronze now this one's key this allows you to get bumps out the corner on you know you're on the offensive player allows you to get bumps sometimes even on ball like when you're playing on ball defense as you guys can see in this clip right here and so i'm loving the 58 perimeter defense i feel like if you know how to move your stick you'll be straight defensively either way you don't really need the highest perimeter defense but hey if you want to you know change the build up just a little bit tweak it here and there just to be able to get a little bit more perimeter defense then i get that but for me 58 is just fine that's just enough and then everything else i don't really have anything else upgraded defensively now let's get into the physicals so my speed is going to be an 86 the 86 speed is actually going to be plus four higher than my last build the last build had an 82 speed now the reason i went 86 is because i want to be able to move around the court faster when i don't have the ball in my hands and so you know obviously like i said the build's going to be faster with the ball in your hands but also without the ball so that means you're going to be able to get to defenders you know get contests even though you might not have the attributes defensively but you're still going to be just faster running around the court so you know you can get to, you can get to the offensive player in time your acceleration is going to be an 83 the 83 excel is actually lower than my last build which had an 89 now the reason i did that is because the 89 excel doesn't even give you like anything higher than blow by gold so there really is no point in doing that so i just took it down to 83 i still get that blow by gold still moving pretty quick with the ball like i said i'm faster with the ball actually and then yeah my strength is going to be a 43 my vert is going to be a 75 now that's 75 vert right there oh my goodness bro i've been using that all year and then pff, look at this i mean this is a 6-2 build getting up like this like bro on putback dunks bro i'm liking the 75 vert and then for the stamina stamina is going to be maxed out at 99 i mean what more can i say that's gonna you know give you that that gold handles for days gonna need that especially as a pg and that pretty much wraps up the attributes on this build now let's get into the sigs a little bit of the animations i'm not gonna go too much into it but just a little bit all right so for my sigs now as you guys can see my jump shot gotta have that patty mills jumper i mean if you're starter three there's no reason why you shouldn't be using patty mills my free throw is gonna be lamella ball really liking that free throw been shooting probably like 96 percent from the line shooting really good layup style is gonna be on default my dunk if you guys want to see the full entire dunk package breakdown go check out my last six video you guys will be able to see all of it my dribble pull up is gonna be pro two my spin jumper is gonna be pro hop jumper davion mitchell post fade pro two post hook and post hop shot i mean i'm not really doing that too much and then my motion style is going to be elite now for the passing style the passing style is going to be tyrese halliburton this is by far the best passing style in the game dribble style kyrie irving best dribble style in the game signature size of trey young regular breakdown combo De'Aaron fox aggressive breakdown combo john wall escape moves is going to be kemba walker i was using trey young before but i'm really liking this kemba walker one combo moves is going to be james harden my crossover is going to be john wall this john wall crossover is really tough i'm gonna show you a clip right here where i'm able to just speed down the court it's just a quick little crossover lets you get to the basket really quick behind the back is going to be jamal murray i mean come on best behind the back in the game everybody uses it in the comp pro-am spin jumper is going to be jimmy butler 
Hesit or not spin jumper, spin is gonna be Jimmy Butler. Hesitations, John Wall. Step back, John Wall. Triple threat is gonna be Zach Levine. And that pretty much wraps it up on this build. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, really love this build. Once you finish the build, you'll be able to see that this is what it comes out to be. You get comparison to Curry. Like, I mean, Curry's literally arguably the greatest point guard of all time so you're gonna absolutely love this build this is basically like a curry wit driving dunk imagine curry wit dunk this is basically like a my team car bro this this build is literally like a my team car so i feel like y'all gonna absolutely love this build you enjoy the video make sure you smash the like button hit the sub button i appreciate all y'all's love and support we did just hit 20k so man like bro y'all really making my dreams come true bro like i'm gonna keep putting this work in as long as y'all keep dropping subs i'm gonna continue to put the work in and we gonna continue to have a blast on youtube man like I said, I appreciate all y'all's love and support. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Peace.